Hello everyone, welcome to Asylum Learning. Myself Mohammad Iqbal, uh, one of the faculties at Asylum Learning. So here we are going to discuss about uh, question number 22 that appeared on June 27, shift 1 of J.E. Main 2022. Okay, so this is basically a very easy question, a seeming, seemingly straightforward question, a harmless question, but looks like the entire country has got the answer to this question wrong. Okay, I'll tell you why. Let's read the question. The sum of all roots of the equation e power 2x minus 11 e power x minus 45 e power minus x plus 81 by 2 is equal to 0 is log p, then p is equal to. Okay, so this is a numerical type question. So the first thing that comes to your mind when you see this equation is you have to substitute e power x as some variable t. So I put e power x as t. Now obviously you, you know that you are going to get a cubic equation in t and you have to look for the sum of all roots of the equation that's going to be a very straightforward method. You may even uh, work this out in your mind as well but there is a catch, I will tell you what. So we have t squared minus 11 t then uh, we have minus 45 divided by t then we have 81 by 2 is equal to 0. So if I go and multiply this expression with 2 t what really happens is this becomes 2t cube minus 22t square and then we have 81t then we have minus 9t is equal to 0. So this is a cubic equation and you know this cubic equation will have three roots. We need the sum of the roots uh, corresponding to x values. Okay. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the product of the roots. So if I have three t values corresponding to this cubic equation in t, let's say they are t1, t2 and t3, you know t1, t2, t3 is going to be minus of minus 90 divided by 2 which is 45. That's how a cubic equation works. So t1, t2, t3 is 45 and this is e power x1 into e power x2 into e power x3 is 45. So we have e power of x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to 45. So x1 plus x2 plus x3 comes out to be log 45 and that is given to be log p. So the answer is 45. That is the answer given by NTA and every every single coaching center as far as I know every single coaching center has given this answer. But there is a catch. We have done a serious mistake in this question. I will tell you what. Now say the first step is, is correct. You are going to make a substitution e power x is equal to t. But when you make that substitution, you have to always note that this t value has to be greater than 0. As long as your x is a real number, your t has to be greater than 0. So, when, you're, when we are doing this here, we are not actually checking whether t is positive or not. Only positive values of t will yield a real value of x. So, that is the catch here. So, so we have this 2t cube minus 22t square, then we have plus 81t, then we have minus 90 is equal to 0. So I'm going to figure out the actual roots of this cubic equation. For that, we have to go for trial and error. So if I substitute t is equal to 0, that's not a root. t is equal to 1, doesn't work. Let's try t is equal to 2. When I put t is equal to 2, what happens is this becomes a 16 minus 88 plus 162 minus 90 and this is 178 minus 178 yes that is equal to 0 it works t is equal to 2 is a solution okay now let's get the remaining part of the equation that that will be a quadratic for that you have to really uh, divide this cubic equation 2t cube minus 22t square plus 81t minus 90 with t minus 2 okay so this becomes 2t square 2t cube minus 4t square and this is minus 18t square plus 81t and this is minus 18t so minus so uh, minus 18t square plus 36t and this is 45t minus 90 so let's say this is 45 here so 45t minus 90 the remainder here is 0 so we got the quadratic factor as well. So our cubic is now t minus 2 into 2t squared minus 18t 
plus 45 is equal to 0. Now, to get the other roots, we have to solve this quadratic. Before resorting to quadratic formula or even factorization, you have to look at the discriminant. So, discriminant is b square minus 4ac, which is 18 square minus 4 into 2 into 45. This is 324 and uh, this is 8 into 45, which is 360. This comes out to be minus 36. So, discriminant is negative for this quadratic. So, this quadratic has complex roots. Okay. So, your e power x values are 2 and 2 other complex numbers. 2 other complex numbers. So, there is only one real value of x satisfying e power x or the given, uh, given exponential equation. So, the solution, the only solution that we have is x is equal to log natural 2, log 2 to the base e. And the answer will be naturally you are asked to find the sum of all roots of the uh, given equation. There is only one root and the sum of the roots is going to be log 2. So, log 2 is the answer. So, the required answer that you have to mark is the required answer that you have to mark will be 2. 2 is the actual answer to this question. Now, some of you must be wondering, okay, so in this uh, cubic equation, uh, if the question had been just the given cubic equation, just the cubic equation, and if the question doesn't specify about uh, uh, roots being real, see, in this question, the question doesn't really say about uh, real roots. So, the you must be wondering, oh, why, why can't we take complex roots as well. Okay, this part is a little tricky here. You have to understand that if we had the original equation as this cubic equation, then you can say that the sum of the roots of this is 45, sorry, the product of the roots is 45, including the complex roots. Okay, because this cubic equation will have three roots, whether real or complex, that is what our fundamental theorem of algebra says. So, we have t1, t2, t3 is equal to 45, that is well and true. Okay that can include complex roots as well but here the the, the idea is a little bit tricky here because we the original equation that we have is not a cubic equation that is an exponential equation so a, an exponential equation when you're considering complex roots it will have infinitely many solutions that is the idea say i'll give you an example uh, I, 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 I'm going to consider a very simple case. I'm going to consider a very simple case where your e power x is say minus 1. In this case, we have got e power x as a complex number. So, e power x is a min e power x is minus 1. e power x is a complex number. x is going to take uh, uh, complex values. Okay. In this case, the immediate solution that comes to your mind is x is equal to i pi. But you have to understand, apart from x is equal to i pi, i pi plus i 2k pi is also a solution. Why? Because e raised to i pi plus i 2k pi is e raised to i pi into e raised to i 2k pi. e raised to i pi is minus 1 and this number is 1. So, this, give, this gives me minus 1. So, we are dealing with complex roots of an exponential equation which will have infinitely many roots and if the question were to uh, if the question intended to um, consider the complex roots as well, then this the, the equation will have infinitely many solutions and obviously the sum of the solutions will not converse. Okay. So, obviously they wanted us to take the real roots only and the answer should be 2 and not 45 because there is only one value of e power x that will give me a positive number so that I can extract a real number, a real value for x. If you are going to consider the complex values or even negative values for e power x, that is going to generate complex roots. But that part is tricky because an exponential equation, um, uh, when you are trying, when you are talking about the uh, complex solutions of an exponential equation, there are infinitely many uh, solutions to that equation. So the answer, uh, the actual answer should be uh, two. For this question. Alright, see you.